only makes Miguel sound possible. Miguel's my name is Taffer 16 Welcome back to another reaction video. And welcome to my 11th reaction to Robot Wars: The Fourth Wars. So last time we did Heat J, and it was kind of a weak heat. And we're now we're doing Heat K, which unfortunately I've been told by a couple people in the last video that maybe expect more of the same. It might be a little little weaker, but we'll we'll see for ourselves. Let's go ahead and watch it. All right. So far, through to our second semi-final, a splinter proved too sore a point for Eric. And in the last show, two veterans of Robot Wars Stinger uh, and Bulldog yes. 3 2 fought it out in their heat final. The victory message you have to spin to win. Bulldog in the bin, let's shatter steel, crush Kevlar and tatter tin. Let Robot Wars begin! <laughs> Such an exciting fight there. I say with all sincerity, I should charge them. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the man who thought Green Beret was French for Gooseberry, Craig Charles. You know, I've been keeping up with some environmental issues and I've learned that in 10 years' time the sea will have flooded half of Britain, which is good because I've always wanted to live by the sea. And did you know that every year manufacturers destroy a forest quite the size out. of Belgium? That's, yeah, Why bro. not just destroy Belgium? Thank <laughs> bro. you, one thing the world doesn't have less of is robot ears. Even if they do let off some pretty obnoxious gases. What Time a Belgium to you. In the atmosphere this week. Our valiant underdogs this Herbius time break mouse trap. Evil Weevil. That's awesome. Tiberius, Little fly something. Weldor at number 20. Weldor. And Evil Weevil as high as number 12. I really like Evil Weevil. It's a great name. Ready for a robotic rumble in the melees, we have the Evil Weevil team back again. Powered by a soda stream bottle, which powers a fire extinguisher, which powers this pneumatic axe, which will come hammering down like that and ruin somebody's day. Okay. Now, those guys were responsible for the death of oh my Mousetrap God. in the last wars, so controversy going on in this melee. Possibly That's a bit of a awesome. Match. This travel, this weighs how much? 11 kilograms, and it travels at 100 miles an hour, like that. And Bro, don't slap work? the robot. What's wrong with you? Ouch! <laughs> the Tiberius team... I don't know if that thing's going to do anything, but let's This cool. looks pretty special to me for a first attempt. It can pull a Volkswagen Estate with the handbrake on. And we've got one and a half tons of pressure soaring down. That is the damage that it does. Ah. So for one of these teams, it will most definitely end in tears. Hmm. It's time to single-handedly resurrect the steel industry. Let the wars begin. Early on here, I'm thinking mouse crap goes out. But let's put TV. Let's preview. From Cardiff and seated number 12, Evil Evil. Unlucky last time to meet Hypnodisc. Evil Weevil again has spikes and a oh, pneumatic sledgehammer axe. The I thought he said Hitler disc. I was like, what? <laughs> he meant what for the evil from the Weevil. <laughs> Certainly lifted Ooh. Panzer up and out of the reckoning last time around. Good speed. The weaponry looks secure and dangerous. Until Evil Weevil Ooh. then came up against superior opposition in Hitler Oh, Lord. And the rest do 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 the mousetrap. Okay. Made from steel and Lexan, scrapyard debris. Oh, and an old office desk. This has a unique mousetrap weapon, powered by CO2, and is ready this time to rip those Mises to pieces. Last time around, they featured as Triterabot, beaten by Evil Weevil. Not enough Trace. weaponry oh my God, look at that thing. shape as well. And despite the fact they let off a smoke flare, disguised themselves <laughs> under that smoke screen. Little more was seen of Triterabot. Release the gas! Hello, my name's Jason. This is my dad, Stan. This is our robot called the Mouse Trap. Um, it's got a trap mechanism which is designed to snare other robots. Mm. We've got This is driven by two hydraulic rams driven off of high pressure carbon dioxide. Um, the, the wheels are driven by... But it can't really do motors, much ever than that. Which are quite yeah. powerful. Top speed's about 12 miles an hour. 
from Brighton. It looks cool, but I'm not really feeling it. This Emperor of Bots has a steel armor piercing weapon powered by a car jack, welded steel chassis armor with polypropylene, the gears come from a motorbike, and Tiberius is ready to rule. This one looks really boomer bust. Hello, we're the Tiberius team up from Brighton in Sussex. Uh, this is Tiberius. We've come here to hopefully win our first battle. My name's John. This is Sam. This is Simon. Sam will talk you through the Well, Sam's staring at my soul, bro. Hi, it's powered by um, two 750 watt motors, um, top speed is around 8 miles an hour, and it can pull a car up, up to about 7 miles an hour. This is our offensive weapon, the armor piercer. This warhead was taken from a pneumatic road tool, and in test has gone through this um, stainless steel sheet, and we intend to do a lot of damage when we come against the other robots. Yeah, that one, I don't know, it could go really well or really not well. Evil Weevil, seated 12, teacher. Kevin Pritchard, Ashley Evans, and Mark Mellor. I'll, I'll say Mousetrap mouse loses. I'll Stan stick with Lawrence my pick. Brian, Jason, his son, the bets. controls, and Tiberius with John Coulthard, the teacher from Portslade Community College. Sam Smith at the controls. <laughs> Evil Weevil, top of your picture, immediately taking on Tiberius, mm -hmm. darting away from Mousetrap and that weapon which allegedly travels at okay, one I can reload this miles an hour. Are you sure Tiberius darts away then from Evil Weevil? Top speeds of 10 miles an hour on the Weevil. Experienced okay. team Kevin Bridgard was a member of the winning panic attack. Nobody's team really doing anything. <laughs> There's Evil Weevil on the arena wall. Tentative stuff so far. Tiberius with the armor piercer made of steel. Okay. Side by side away from mouse traps. Uh, is it done? And a ponderous weapon. This is Tiberius in underneath Mousetrap. Mousetrap with a, a ground clearance of 20 mil. Oh, there we go. There we go. Of Tiberius pinning Mousetrap down. What has Evil Weevil done? What's well, it doing? Well, made it would seem there. It certainly pierced. Mousetrap's definitely the, uh, done. What about Evil Weevil? It, Mousetrap it's just sitting there. And shell, and Evil Weevil has not done anything. Yeah, it's just sitting One there. One wonders whether Evil Weevil has been immobilized very early on here. It hasn't moved, and this yeah, is it's a not, surprise. It's done. It's not moving. The number 12 seeds from Trantanum School. It's done, Evil yeah. Evil Weevil, immobilized, shunt on the right, dead metal on the left, a waggle of the antenna. That's not enough. Mousetrap's going to get it. Waggle your antenna at Matilda all night, but the red box not confused. He knows what's going on. Mousetrap in the clutches of the red box. What is going on there? What is... The referee's not supposed to do that. Mousetrap now. Side yeah, Evil Weevil's done, Tiberius, yeah. Mousetrap's gonna get a break here. The mashing of metal and the destruction's going on, and it's all over for Evil Weevil. The bronze shell oh. is rushing. What the hell happened? The There's bashing with the great flame throw. Oh my god. A lick of flame on the arena floor. And Evil Weevil back to Cardiff in pieces, it would seem. Mousetrap and Tiberius, all they've got to do is stay out of danger from the house robots. Well, knocked out by Hypnodisc last time around. They haven't got very far. Even Meanwhile, over here. <laughs> the Tiberius have got themselves into problems. How daft is that? <laughs> Going into the CPZ, the corner patrol zone, and over goes Evil Weevil. Shards of metal fly. Oh, off. man, it's what, such a clusterfuck. <laughs> off comes a bit of the plating. We know Evil Weevil are finished. It's a question now of damage limitation. And that's a disappointment for Kevin Pritchard and Evil Weevil team. They're out. Mousetrap well, got real lucky. We'll lose a as Mousetrap and Tiberius go into round two. Robot Wars is as much about chance as it is about design. What happened? Uh, got fucked up. What happened? Went dead. Your battery went dead. Yeah. yeah. Of the six that we had, we chose when we hadn't fully charged or thought we'd fully charged but hadn't. Bruh. And, well, it's Murphy's Law, isn't it? <laughs> Everything that will go wrong. Shall go wrong. Oh, Sucks to suck. So we just got cosmetic damage and. Um, the soda stream bottle held up. Yeah, I'm that was about everything that. was fine. Yeah. Well, you've been a great team. Thanks a lot. Back to Cumbran. Back to all the way back to Cumbran, yeah. Till next year. Yep. Yep. Well, good to see them back. Fly away to find Mouse another got nail. Way lucky, that brings bro. us on to our next battle. Weld or something against Little Fly. The robots for the melee do not look shy. This is Little Fly from Dover. Richard, what are you going to do to the other robots? Smash them to pieces. Nice. This uh, plate here rotates at 1,000 RPM, which is pretty fast. Aluminium coated. Bro, stop hitting the robot. Actually. What's wrong with you? Something. It's a bit of a grungy bot. 
What was your you... thinking behind the design of this? Right, we wanted to build something that was dead low tech. This dude looks awesome. So we can hack back at the computer electro age of the scientific yes. generation. Yes, Indeed fighting so. tools. He's got like five different beards. For brawling. This is the Weldall team. They lost their axe to Sir Kelly in the last wars. Back. Bigger axe, better we hope, but a lot of it hasn't been tested yet, so for all of us, it will be a revelation. You gotta call him out like that. Ron Lester, something. <laughs> this war's veteran returns with a wedge shape to bulldoze, a pickaxe to shred, a spike to puncture. Took two years to build with parts plucked from rubbish kits. Is this something Two years or to build, bro. They go out immediately. That suck. <laughs> as it was last time around on the word activate came flying out against the pit bull and uh well that was it over in a trice he'll Ooh. not finish them off something and nothing surely last time around can't do worse can it hi i'm dig this is my mates johnny and jeff and this is our robot the something Greatly improved from last year, hopefully be more reliable. Uh, we've still got the great BX, so. and we've still got the spikes and the forklift type thing. Got a bit of a wedge at the back here as well. <laughs> a bit more weld this year. A bit more weld, a bit less weight. Here's the description, Craig has made that. Little fly. Named after the team's horsepower comes from two wheelchair motors, but top speed's just four miles an hour. Not impressive, the weapons and agricultural lawnmower blade giving the fly plenty of buzz. <laughs> Four miles per hour, you said? My name's John. This is Richard, my son, and my other team member, Andy. And this is our robot, Little Fly. It's powered by two 24 volt wheelchair motors, and it's got a 12 volt starter motor for a weapon, which is a spinning blade. Um, it's got a searchlight on the front, so we yeah, can see where we're going and to confuse the enemy. And a special warning light on the front, so we can see when the uh, weapon's armed and spinning around. Hopefully, we're going to do rather well in the wars and um, chop some uh, opponents up. I don't know, buddy. From Belfast, Weldor. Heaviest, but fastest in the heat. Reached the second round of the last wars. Has a pneumatic hammer and self-writing ramming arm. Six millimeter thick polycarbonate shell. I worry if the ground clearance is too great in places, though. Wasn't necessarily a problem last time around. Knocked out in round two by King Buxton. Slamming it against the arena wall. The axe then pinned itself to the arena wall. And oh. in came Killalot. And, uh, well, you face the... The message there. Out they went. Weldor from Belfast. Well, he was talking shit. Hi there. My name's Phelan. This is David. This is Damien. We're Team Weldor. Um, this is our new robot. We were here at the last wars. Completely new design. Hopefully, we've got a far stronger axe than what we had last year. Pneumatic flipper. Um, last year, we had a bit of a run in with Sir Killalot. He snipped off our axe. Hopefully, this year, we'll, everything goes well for us. We'll get my wee chance. We'll get my wee on this year. Robot <laughs> All right, I'll say a little, little fly, fly goes out. With Andy Hoskin at the controls on the right-hand side there, a little Richard in the middle. Here's something. Place your bets. With Dig in the middle at the controls. <laughs> There's Weldor, Fellum at the controls with half of Belfast City in there with him too. Whoa, 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 hold up. Hold up, I'm oh, sorry. In the middle at the controls. There's Weldor, Fellum. At this man behind him is straight asleep. <laughs> Look at this guy in the back. The controls with half of Belfast City in there. He's straight two. sleep. <laughs> Interesting to see something here. They say it's got a little bit of welding, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and a little bit of a razor blade, I would suggest, in Dig's household. Not okay. a complete one. That's Weldor oh, on shit. the right now, and Little Fly coming rushing in with the 1000 rpm agricultural lawnmower blade spinning up it doesn't seem to do much moment. of anything something's lasted longer there we than go. it did last time around with a pickaxe blade there we coming go. in fast on little fly there we go. bouncing away good aggression by something Weldor uh, looking to cause some damage something spins away the shunt in the top of your picture bash to the left he wants to stay clear of those oh, there we go okay yeah like yeah. dodgems in a fairground Good even contest this. Again, that blade seems to be stuck by little fly. Once it hits metal, it seems to jar. Oh, God, away. he's on fire. And then uh, have a redundant spell. That's something there you with go. the great axe coming down once again. There you go. The pickaxe built for brawling, Jules describes something. Keep whacking him. Low tech in the war against high tech computers. Something fighting back for the age old traditions, perhaps. Oi. Slam goes the axe on Keep Weldor's whacking him. Train. It'll need something to. 
penetrate that six millimeter polycarbonate shell though. But all the aggression from something and Richard Digg to give him his full name. But the control sir in the middle is doing splendidly here. That's a little nudge from Weldor on Little Fly, and again it was something that yeah. came slamming in. He's done. Little Fly's rotational blade uh, spinning, uh. but not causing any major damage. Trying to get things Call going. Call this and out. get Little Fly out. He's done nothing. Young Richard there from St Margaret School in Kent giving him advice. Something to the left-hand side. Very even. This could go to the judges. Call it. It's not Star even. Control, it's not even. Aggression. They'll be looking there to add up the points. Little fly, little bit too slow. Little flies done literally nothing. He's done nothing to the point where the other two robots have literally just given up on him and are fighting each other. Get an angled run in so that the axe can cause maximum damage. Weldor back strengthened. A new robot for this competition knocked out in round two. There we go. Last time around, Weldor. Oh, he killed stopped, I wonder. Something is certainly still active. Oh, he killed him. The penetrating blow of the of wow, is Little Fly and really going to get away with this? I think has been immobilized by that blow. Well, he is. Wow. Now, Weldor's out of it. So the judges will not have to decide. Weldor has gone. Shunt with a Little Fly got so fucking lucky. Well. Very good even contest. It was one decisive blow. But there's something acts that cause all the problems, and that's the end of the road for Weldor, Fallon Lundy, Damien and David in his team. Disappointment for them. Kilowatts there with the blinking eyes of menace and destruction. Oh, the man. torch also a bash. They're shunt as well. But they survive little fly just the pit descends. And the destination of Weldor into the gloom of the pit. Uh, yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, Lil Fly got way lucky, bro. <laughs> Something's the only one that really did anything. Away from Belfast, they got to turn around and go back again. They go out. <laughs> I think that Thomas. Was... Well, to be fair, now to the week that we small uh, little Fly, he was doing us a lot of damage with his uh, his flipper. Uh, we spinning disc thing. Was he though? And, uh, I think he's done the majority of that there damage there. Um, he did remove one of my cables off my batteries, and that's what actually immobilized us. And then once that happened, then the house robots just moved in. So kill a lot done that there damage. Um, and shunt done that there. But basically there was nothing in there, like but I was more worried about the Thontax B controller, like so. Did he just say the spinning guy so. did he just say little so fly immobilized him? Start building for next year. Because it was not. It was something with the fucking ass. The power of Gillock can slice through armor plating. Weldor has gone out. Joining Evil Evil in the bin. This is how they'll line up later in the show. Tiberius oh against Little Fly and something against Mousetrap. The two seeds are out. Lord. While our surviving robots go off to oil themselves, I've got a question for you. Why are dolphins so good at pinball? Why? It's because they've got an extra pair of flippers. Reline. Let the trials begin! How many more we got in the Warrior team? Sorry, Craig, where was the punchline? Oh, tell me six later. Six more. Uh, six robots to go to overcome Spawn of Scudder's mighty 245 points in this. From Huddersfield's Banshee. What the fuck is that? We're in Series 3 with Shark Attack. They were knocked out by Beamoth, Graham Walker, Richard Jackson. What Alan the Martin, hell is that? Teacher with Banshee. This is a test of driving skills, control, speed. Points around the arena floor. What the hell even is that? The barrel's down, five points for each barrel. <laughs> In your own time, boys. Don't worry about it. Five points for each of the barrels knocked over. That's about 15 points there. Look, this is a speedy turn. Hello, I'm turning. I'm is this an out-of-season April I'm Fool's turning. joke? Oh, that's aiming at the 50 points, though. He hit it. Goes bash to cover. 50 points scored. Steady progress, the word steady. That thing's emphasized. terrifying, bro. Grizzly looking machine. You can't get another 50, by the way, by hitting that target again. Ooh, that's a speedy, nifty turn, yes? What the Building fuck? Building up a real head of steam now. And there's points for the multi-ball option. Release those balls. 10 points for that. Each ball into the pit, another five points. No, which way are we going, dear? Okay, steady as she goes. I'm coming towards the ramp now, house robots. Well, 
I plan to. What the hell was that? Spectacular. Magnificent. What the hell was that? Well, let's have a look at it again. They eventually got to the barrels. Yeah, that 15 points scored there. That's a good 50. Oh, my Credit where God. It's <laughs> and the multi ball release. And there we have it. Only 75 points scored. What the fuck? Of what spawn of Scudder achieved 245 and five strong robots still to go. Personally, I think I'm going to stick with the fruit machines. Right now, though, let's get back to the wars. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> the seeds are gone, so we got something, the brawler against the mousetrap weapon. And we got Little Fly with the agricultural lawnmower blade against the armor-piercing weapon of Tiberius from Brighton. This is going to be easy pickings for you lot, really, isn't it? Um, Tell me the garage door story. Well, it wasn't my garage door. It was Sam's dad's garage door. <laughs> and the robot, what happened? Well, it smashed the bottom a bit. Um, just for slightly bad driving. We just say it's slow. We didn't expect it to be very powerful and just broke some bottom panels. So you're going to make small fry a little fly? Well, we'll do our best. Um, we don't, we're just, uh, yeah, we're not sure what's going to happen. Um, <laughs> just try and keep out the house robot's way. That, um, He's so nervous. Damage to us. Well, it's your first wars, but it's their first wars too. So don't panic. <laughs> How's the uh, spinning plate working? Uh, very well at the moment. Yes. You sure about that? Have, um, been effective in the first battle. Uh, we have managed to bend it slightly, uh, so it's got a bit of a kink in it, but it seems to be working, so hopefully. And if you were backing this match, uh, would you back yourselves? Of course. No question about it. Yeah. That wouldn't. No question about it, yes. So you're confident? Absolutely. Good news, let's see what happens. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. Roboteers, stand by. Killer lot who hates little fly with Andy Hoskin at the controls, John Woodward and his nine-year-old son Richard, and there's Tiberius with the armor piercer. Yeah, go on, Tiberius. Sam Smith at the controls, the blonde Three, lad there. Two, one. Tiberius, students at Fort Lake Community College. Oh, yeah, here we are. Teacher John Coulthard Simon's dad. Tiberius on the attack. There is the blade of little fly, which caused a damage to Weldor in the last battle. Did it, though? I thought it was more superficial damage, I must admit. Yeah. Looks like turning Oof, progressively nice on the attack on Tiberius. Tiberius would be my fancy in this battle. A little fly has so far proved an underdog of worthy consideration. Bashed against the arena wall and very dangerously near the sea. Tiberius just ran into him, but it's enough. Broad, went back in again. Now slamming it against Bash. That's it. Tiberius has set Little Fly up for destruction here. Tiberius again, the wedge in underneath Little Fly. Ground clearance of 50 millimeters under the fly. Just called us, bro. Tiberius very confident at the moment. You might say their attitude is a, a, a little fly. Yeah. But maybe you would. All right, Craig. Yours was funnier than mine. <laughs> Tiberius again on the attack. Trying to slam in on Little Fly. Oh, he's on the arena. Flipper there, you don't want to hang around there for very long. Fly, get away. And does Just so. call this, bro. So I don't think that play, when it's up against uh, a welded steel chassis or a yeah, it's green, not armor, really can much. cause much damage to the fly's weaponry. Spinning oh. at 1,000 RPM oh, to the 12 volt motor up on the top there of Tiberius. Let's have a look at this again. Tiberius slamming in underneath. That's a punishing, crumbling attack onto the arena. Tiberius wall. didn't just so break it. All around did the it? arena, we have spikes. You can see them there. Actually, I think are the spikes penetrating the back of Little Fly there. Tiberius no way, is Tiberius wedged broken. in underneath. This is shunt. No, no, he's buckling moving. and bouncing away. Is he moving? The ref bot came in. You're Tiberius joking. That arena wall spike, and that is dangerous. There for You're joking. He killed himself. Carry it away into another dangerous area under the spike. There's something wrong there. You're fucking joking. I think they've been immobilized. They're spinning away. No, he's out. Oh, no. I think they're stuck here in forward drive. Oh, my God. How did Little Fly get away with this twice? Twice. Tiberius Sam Smith 
You are going! You are going! You are the... Oh, no, you're not, not yet. Ah. You are on the brink, though. Sam Smith, get your machine away if you can. I don't think he can. I think there's no more drive. Matildi, a little shove, a little glass, a little delicate blow. Sam Smith and Tiberius, you are gone. How did... There's no way this thing is done. Tiberius mad. will roam no longer. <laughs> little Fly spreads his wings once more. Let's hear it for Little Fly. No. Let's not hear it for Little Fly. Well, that didn't go according to plan, did it, really? No, it wasn't as we expected at all. We um, hoped to do better. Well, you got stuck on the um, grinders. On the grinders. Yeah, but, yeah. but the house robots were trying to help you out there. They were, yeah, trying, to, they were trying to pull you he out. killed but himself? Right, you ain't going... Yeah, we, we lost drive quite early on. Um, the, the whole drive was just it's not working, wasn't responding, and uh, we have to go down and have a look and see what's happened. We're not sure yet. Because you weren't even using your spike thing, were no. you? No, uh, we're going we're we to lose control of that as well, yeah. and pretty yeah. early on, so nothing we could do. So basically, it all went pants for you today, didn't it? Yeah, mm. totally, yeah. <laughs> Never mind, you'll come back They again, were still we'll wedding, though. Oh, yeah, Let's hear it for Tiberius! <laughs> well, little flight. Yeah. I can't believe you got through that. Um, Near you, can I. You'll think that sort of... So the helicopter blade wasn't doing much damage to him, but he wasn't working at all, was he? No. No, and then the house robots put him in the pit. Yep. Are you enjoying yourself on Robot Wars so far? Yes. <laughs> what was your um, battle plan, though? What were you trying to do? Well, we couldn't see anything obvious to hit on it, so the idea Craig was just was trying to, to get more than one word out of him, he could, do. so he moved on. Keep out of its way. Yes. Um, as we just heard, the spike wasn't working, which is probably quite that good for a us. And then well, there was a bit of a tussle in the corner. We're not quite sure what happened there. And well, you, you got, all got stuck on each other, and yeah, once the house robot split you up, you even the with the spike broken, yeah, we still still running, so, uh, you were still beating you, though. You didn't do anything. Keep moving and um, let the house robots take over. Well, there's no flies on you, is there? Let's hear it for Little Fly! Oh. Young Richard Woodward was proposed How? to when he was four years of age. He didn't say yes. Can you imagine the no final little fly from the mouse through. trap Christ. Something against mouse trap uh, up next. Something, you gotta do something. You gotta do something. Well, we've dug ourselves <laughs> you in. You gotta do we? something. The arena, the something. Scrapyard chic team, how you doing? Come on, man of a thousand beards. I think the laugh says it all, really. <laughs> <laughs> We're overjoyed. We made it through the first round. Yeah. Yeah. Have you made any repairs for this round? Yeah, we've got a different <laughs> axe on it because we want it a bit bent. So we found a chisel and we'll get to drink it already. And um, oh, the wheel's got a little bit shredded by the fly. So, we uh -huh. so what's your message for Mousetrap? Have you got one? <laughs> I don't know, really. Bro, he's cut. They're not the worst people <laughs> in the world. You know, they're not full of diodes and computer chips and stuff. No, quite got some there. pneumatics going on yet. Yeah, so, you know, we'll have to see. Was Some that? chains and cogs in there, we noticed, but I feel I think fairly that might confident. Be their weak pot, though. Oh, <laughs> so it's not all good stuff being low tech, then. No, not all the time, no. Yeah, you want to beat them anyway, don't you? <laughs> Come on, oh, yeah. something. You're our last one. Well, hope. we have been pretty impressed by the mouse trap so far. Have you? Love the speed of the flipper, that's excellent, but it does take quite a long time to crank back up, doesn't it? Why it does. Uh, I think we had a problem with the valve actuation last time, so it wasn't opening the valve fully, so it's quite slow on the return. So we put an extra uh, solenoid in there to hopefully sort that out. Excellent yeah, news. Then uh, which one of you is going to be the cheese? Cheese? <laughs> <laughs> no way! <laughs> Roboteers, stand by. Oh boy. Well, the big cheese for Mousetrap is Jason at the controls. Something. Scrapyard chic. What's All right, next? come on, something. Gorgeous grunge. Classic crusty. What's next for something? I thought they were very impressive in the first battle. Me too. Nippy around the arena, very aggressive. Oh. Get away from the mousetrap weapon. Goodness me. Did you see the force? Audio glitched out there. I thought they were very impressive in the first battle. Nippy around the arena, very aggressive. Good control. They need to stay away from the mousetrap weapon. Goodness me. Did you see the force, the velocity of that mousetrap weapon? I did it because the camera cut there. away. Didn't catch something. But the warning signs are flashing. Oh, there it goes. And it's been something's weaponry down. A great slam of the mousetrap. Well, they yeah. Look at that for a slam of the mousetrap. I wonder why they didn't keep it there, though. They pinned something in. They could have dragged it towards the oh. pit, dragged it into a CPZ. Yeah, that's Let the true. Robots take over. They shouldn't Did have they reset. Let something get away too cheaply there. 
Will they rue that decision? That was pretty sweet, though. Something bouncing off the front of Mousetrap, using the wedge shape to get in underneath something. A ground clearance of 8mm on the sump. A little bit tentative now. Oh! So again, the comes down. See the great spring on top there. The okay, that definitely goes up quicker now. They did fix that. The way. As something's pronged. Oof. I was trying to might be winning. The axe again, the big axe, but all of a sudden, okay. that doesn't look too punishing, does uh, it? I think he this broke it. Very even at the moment. Yeah, the they broke it. Moving. They broke it. They broke it. And it's something doing all the it hit it in the blue spring and part and broke it. No, 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 he's still going. Mousetrap's okay. Just moving away. I don't know why he's, first gear, perhaps he's trying to draw him in. No, he's done. Is everything okay with the no, he's done. No. Nope. Jason responsible trying for the to set for the team is that stand for the mechanics. But Mousetrap's second best here, quite clearly. Another attack by something slamming as they're in a wall. What's happened there? Something has caused its self destruction damage. We'll have to have a look at it again. <laughs> Came hurtling towards the arena wall, and I think something is immobilized here. Let's look at it again. Down went the forks on the front, and they buckled underneath, and that means there's no traction for the great wheels. <laughs> You have dug yourself into oblivion here. And in come the house robots. Oh, you're Mousetrap fucking kidding me. Alive. <laughs> They're both dead. Killed itself. Oh my god, it's this little fly going to win my team. Shame. <laughs> oh, that's a grisly end because they were well on top. But it's the house robots now who will finish off the load. Oh, this is something Built for brawling scrap yard chic. Oh my Two races in a row! Itself so much damage. Two races it in a row, a robot broke itself! For something tossed and tattered, bashed and bruised and You've beaten. gotta be kidding! In comes dead metal! And something is pitted. Cease. What a shame. How the fuck? Something mobilized themselves. Mousetrap is still moving, albeit slightly. Mousetrap go through. Second race in a row. You've got to be upset. They're not guilty. <laughs> well, I mean, if he was only moving ever so slightly, if you well, just, just kept away from them and just, you know, just sort of well, we behave yourselves. We've got a few good blows in there. Yeah, I mean, it's a lovely, lovely axe. Lovely design, that robot as well. What, what, what they broke um, bro. We've got a chain and it snapped. When the chain snaps, it leaps over and beaches itself on its own forklift. Now, it's a bit of a design flaw, you might think. <laughs> <I'm definitely laughs> he beached something. Indeed so, sir. Hey, you're going to sort that flaw out for next time. We'll try our best. It's been nice to have you here, lads. Let's Thanks hear it something. Good God. I thought that something was going to nick your cheese. Well, I thought it was actually, yeah. yeah. And, uh, uh, it's a very unusual robot. What's that sort of trap bit do? I mean, once you've trapped them, you did trap them. Oh his, my his, god, his it's a disaster. Then, then go, <laughs> well, we don't have to. We just thought we'd uh, try and tra try and hit him again. Nah, some if, more damage. if you trap him when the pit's activated, you can actually then try and drag him towards that the pit. That was the original yeah. design idea, yeah. yeah. We actually trap them and then take them where we want them. I think we're lucky, actually. You're very <laughs> lucky, very lucky. Woo, you're through to the next round, though. Yep, that's brilliant. Great. Let's hear it for Mousetrap. You know, when, when the trap works, it's pretty cool. Also, I don't know if it was clear-cut that something was winning. Well, he was. He kind of immobilized him. But, like, right before that, they got two slaps down on him. Dave, what do we think about the judge's decision? Well, I don't want to cause controversy. But it seemed as we were both immobilized yeah. at the same time. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we were actually showing signs of life. It was actually, we couldn't physically move across the arena floor. Although yeah. Although our motors and drives. They were out before were you were, bro. Radio contact, etc. cetera. Um, so why couldn't you physically, I mean, were you immobilized? That's the key thing, isn't We it? were immobilized, as in we could not move. Exactly. I mean that's kind of the definition of the word. Is yes, it not? but I didn't see them exactly doing a lot of sprinting either. Yeah, exactly. they were they were so out anyway, first. Anyway, you yeah. know what's happened, don't you? We do. No, I agree that, with you. Uh, the mouse trap possibly aren't going to be back in action for the next round anyway, in which yes, case you will that. go through. Oh, a little smile just on the side of my mouth. Yeah, just on the one side. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Yes. Smile, yes. fifty percent tears. So you're going to make some repairs anyway. It's as good as repaired now. 
Oh, okay. take you long, did it? There's not, well, there's not a lot to go wrong on a very basic robot like this. Of course there isn't. Indeed so. And uh, if you could have had a bit more technology, would you have had? Oh, no, indeed. If you had more tech... In fact, the only piece that's broken, <laughs> our switchboard, there's loads of things connected to a block of wood. Bro, this guy the should only do TV. Bit broke is this PCB. Oh. Oh. You can't get the ports, can you? <laughs> Let's go and see what the mouse trap thing Bro, this guy's got charisma off the King. charts. Oh, yeah. You were lucky on the judge's decision. We were very, very lucky on the judge's decision. But perhaps not so lucky now. What's happening? We, we found out the problem. We've got the main switch burnt out, so we're just fitting a new switch in it. Is we're it going to be, be simple to fix, do you think? Yeah. Well, here's the switch. Let's right. replace that, basically. It's, uh, we know they're 10 faulty. 10 pence worth of problem? Probably about 10p, yeah. <laughs> it's a bit, bit, bit more, maybe. Boo! Oh. That's some bullshit. 10p or a new PCB, or your guess is as good as mine. I hope it's digged for victory next time around. He's been great fun with something. They're out though, and of course it oh. means the heat K final. Little fly against Mousetrap. Oh man, what a disaster! Let's have a look back at the road to the heat final. Let's then. not. Mousetrap <laughs> beating Evil Weevil first of all, with the help from the arena floor flipper, and then rather controversially, was it? Edging past something thanks to that. I agree with him though. Mouse Meanwhile, was Little out first. Fly with something was beating Weldor. They were pitted. And then Little Fly took on Tiberius. Tiberius and all sorts of problems. Why did I acknowledge that the Tiberius took himself out against as well? the house robots? Because he totally did. He slammed him in the wall and took himself out. The Little Fly team about to go into the heat final. This is serious, isn't it? Because it's the first time on Rebel Wars. First time. An incredible achievement, really. Didn't think we'd get this far. We're glad Neither did I. I mean, every battle we've got now is just a bonus. So glad we've done it. So if we win, we win. If we lose, we've enjoyed ourselves. I don't think anybody wins. You're taking turns, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, it's my turn. And it's your turn now. So you're my the most turn. nervous, are you? I am. Yeah. You haven't had a go, I take it. No, no. no. Looking cool and composed, the mouse yeah. team, or perhaps slightly exhausted, now I can see your faces. <laughs> this is the furthest you've come because you were in the wars last year. That's right, yeah. And went out in the first round. Indeed, yeah. So you've done incredibly well. We have. You're pleased Free. with yourself. We are, yeah. Father and son be. team, very nice to see. Yep. Now I think if your weapon comes down on the little fly's spinning plate, I you're in it, with a serious chance. I think it might break off, yeah. It might break it off. I agree. He's got some... Um, uh, fairly weak. Uh, uh, I'm going to take Mousetrap well, for this. Because they can actually do something. Works. Two robots left. Only one place in the series semi final. It's not even time. Have a chance it's the in third the and final. final round. There's no thing I can still start. From Dover. Little With its lawnmower blade, go kart wheels, yeah, I'm taking motors, Andy crap. Hoskin at controls, John Woodward there, Richard his son. From Oxford and Bristol, the mousetrap. With its unique weapon, Stan launched it on the left, Dad to Jason on the right. Loves his hill walking, Jason. Robotians, stand by. Three. Oh boy. One. It's actually off to Peru later on in this year, uh, Jason, for hill walking. Jason, uh, hey, Andy, okay. not hills actually. Little fly spins away. There's the rotating blade. Well, a shard of metal flew up in the air there. Okay, it's back up. Off mousetrap, off little fly. Too difficult to tell, really. Mousetrap again, just waiting. Can we just scrap this heat and eliminate them both? To my parlor, said the mousetrap to the fly. Little fly, not buying that. Oh, there we go. Zero, zero. They when break it. Comes down to some force. No. So it's the blade against the immovable force. They've cracked the weapon back. Will it come down? Will it buckle that blade? There we go. No, bounced away off the frame of Little Fly. Shell is aluminium, and with standing mouse. Little Fly is done enough. It's very even, and unless what do you mean it's very even? Disaster, it could go all the way to a judge's decision. The damage on the back of Little Fly caused earlier in the heat, not in this final. But Little Fly edged against the inner now using great power and pressure to push back. Mousetrap up to 12 and a half miles an hour. Little Fly only four miles an hour top speed. What the fuck, Raffy was doing on something? On the attack, trying to maybe use the blade 
to sever the spring of the mouse trap. Get him again. Well, hey, mouse trap has driven itself onto the blade. Little fly back to the arena floor flipper as well. Edging away very slowly. Aggression by mouse trap. Don't Good forget God. this could all come into play if it goes to the judges. Oh, either way. Damage control style and aggression. They'll be looking for mousetrap on the attack. Come on. The wedge shape, classic to Robot Wars. Pushing Little Fly into the CPZ. Smart. Matilda's there to try and get an attack with the tusks. Smart. Flipping Little Fly. The attempt was made by Matilda. Her I think tusks are raised. Still in the CPZ now. Little Fly needs to get away from there. He still hit four times. Don't forget the house robots can't pursue across the arena floor unless you are immobilized. There we're seeing the launch breeze of the controls of Lord. Mouse Here we're seeing Andy Hoskin, John Woodward, and Richard Woodward for the controls of Little Fly. Backing perhaps to have another attack. This is going to go to the judges, I'm sure. The heat will go to a judge's decision. It is very, very even and difficult to call. No, this it one isn't! Beyond my limited powers, anyway. Little Fly did nothing! Very, very, very difficult to call. No, it's not! not. The one for the judges, I'm afraid. Craig, for the first time, I am beaten. I have not the faintest. Little fly on the attack. Wedged on Mousetrap, though. There's I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. And again, it's too close for me. Little fly into the CPZ. Little Couldn't fly didn't do it. anything. And under pressure from Mentor. It got hit with the Mousetrap four times. Too close. Well, feels like I've been holding your hand forever. It's been a long one. Deliberated long and hard, guys. A tough decision. They've been looking at style, control. Damage and aggression. And they've gone for Mousetrap! Thank God. Well, oh, Couldn't any more fuckery this episode. I bet you're gutted, aren't you? Yeah. It was, I would not, I would have given it as a draw. Go and blame the judges. What okay? are you I would have given it, it was about? so close. Am I taking Don't crazy worry. pills? You'll come back next time, won't you? You'll do better. Yeah. It was just. Forgive the pun, but you were a gnat's breath yes. away, weren't you? Oh, well, we did and very well to get this far, so we're well, well you've done, pleased. You've done splendidly, and we've well enjoyed pleased. having you. Yep. And don't you be so upset, young man. We'll have you back next oh, time, Jesus. okay? Let's hear it for the little fly! Craig, don't be so violent with that child. <laughs> Come here, little white boy. It's <laughs> <That> was, uh, <laughs> it was. Uh, I mean, because when they were looking at damage, because you I mean, your mousetrap thing was damaged. I mean... Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I thought you just, broke yeah, the chain's it. broken, so... Yeah. So I, I was, you know, I was yeah, thinking well. it was going to go the other way, me. Yeah, I'm me, yeah. yeah. I, I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. What the fuck You're in the missing? Way. You're in the series semi -finals. What am I missing? Yeah. Flytrap did oh, nothing. Like absolutely absolutely. Are you going to make any alterations to the robot? Or a little fly, I should say. Well, it can't be this close all the time. <laughs> no, we were saying that there, there is a, a higher grade chain that we can... To replace the chains that we broke. Bro, Mousetrap's gonna get According slaughtered in the semifinals, though. Broke, but it's all prototype stuff, so you don't know where you are, you know. Alright. See you in the series semifinal. Yeah. Let's hear it for Mousetrap! Good luck, fuckers. <laughs> well, we've got our own rules and we've got our own laws. The controversy reigns on Robot Wars. Bye -bye. What controversy? Somebody who has a better grasp, I'm sure there's one of you. Somebody who has a better grasp on the scoring system than I do is gonna have to explain that final to me. Because I don't get it. What 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 did Little Fly do? What at all did it do? It didn't do anything. Mousetrap hit with the fucking thing like four times. And Little Fly did I I and they're calling it they're calling it close and Craig's like, oh I thought it was gonna go the other way. I'm like, how? Actually how? Like I, I somebody who has a better grasp of the, of the scoring system will have to explain that to me, because I don't get it at all. It didn't do anything. Thank God they went for Mousetrap, but like, oh my God. Like, I, just, I, I, I don't understand it all there. So, well, yeah, that definitely lived up to its billing. That was probably the worst heat so far. <laughs> that, uh, yeah, I, I, I really hope that's not going to get topped for worst heat. Because, yeah, that was a disaster. Um, dear Lord, hopefully we'll have, I think we've had back-to-back -back weak heats. Hopefully we'll have a better one next time out. Hmm. Excuse me, but yeah, that was a disaster. I I I think something should have gone through to the final, and then I, I Mousetrap's is gonna. I don't know who Mousetrap's going up against uh, in the semifinal, but they're gonna get slaughtered, bro. They're they they got no chance. <laughs>
<laughs> but they did give me the best moment of the episode when that that thing finally came down on something and trapped the uh, trapped the, the axe. That was pretty cool. Uh, that was probably the best, the, the highlight of the episode. But yeah, that's going to do it for my 11th fraction of Robot Wars, 4th Wars. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll be back with hopefully a better heat next time. But that's going to do it for me today. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to leave the like if you didn't like it. Don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, my Twitch. Where I stream every single day on my second channel for us to new views, my Twitter, if you want to follow me on my Patreon. If you want to support me on my daily motion, all things are in the description down below. Thank you to all who are currently recording 111 of my Patrons. If you're constantly supporting my channel, further than that, you'll be Patreon me for as little as $1 or one pound. You get access to direction videos as well as the rating comments up to date early and you get name description as well. Also, in the description is linked to the community right as well as the daily schedule as well as Twitch files channel. For all that being said, though, my name is Taffrey Steen from my 11th direction of Robot Wars, the 4th Wars, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.